Okay, hello everyone. I'm gonna have a guest today, Valentina. She's gonna be talking to us about how she stopped suffering um, in her acting and how she got her power back. Right, Valentina? Yeah. Um, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm good, but as I said before, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. A little bit, and, yeah. I, and as I admitted, I'm even more nervous because I have a lot going on with uh, my son being accepted in a school. So I'm super, I'm excited. I'm, I'm on the other side of the spectrum, but my heart is going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Where are you calling us from? I'm in Spain right now in Madrid. You're in Spain. So it's late. Yeah. It is. It's uh, 10 in the, in the afternoon, no, at night already. But, but for Spaniards, that's not late, right? That's the time where you start having a snack. Yeah, and actually I work at night, so it's, it's not late at all for me. Yeah, but yeah. So it's morning. So it's kind of morning. <laughs> all right. A little all right. bit. So, so tell us a little bit about your um, acting journey um, before resetting yourself. How did you start acting? How long yeah. ago? What did you study? Well, actually, my, my mother is an actress, so... Um, oh, but I actually really hated when I was uh, little because I was going with her to rehearsals and to the plays and part of me started, like, rejecting it. And when I was uh, 18 or a little bit earlier, I decided I wanted to be an actress. Uh, so I went to university because I'm Chilean. I studied there. And... After that, I went to L.A., after that, I came to Spain and all that. Uh, but it's not the weird part, but the bad part of, of the profession. It was like after the pandemic pe period, I started to feel like really bad. Like um, mm. I started to suffer, as you said, like I started yeah. to feeling bad about it. Like I was crying a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I was feeling bad about everything I did, why nobody wants me, I sent to castings, they don't get me, they say no, 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 so I started to feeling, like, overwhelmed about it, and I actually thought about quitting. I remember mm -hmm. uh, it was something about September, um, and I, I decided, like, if this doesn't change until December, I'm going to quit. Yeah, you gave this yourself... Is kind of yeah, headline. because it was too much, I was only crying, I was going into a depression... And I didn't know what to do. So, so how really would you mind going back to that time? Because mm -hmm. I'm sure there's so, I mean, I know there's plenty of people who can relate to you mm -hmm. and who feel like it's painful to act. That's the most common thing I hear when actors come to us. It's like they're, I'm, I'm in pain when I'm acting and that's horrible. What, like, can you give us an example of how it would feel for you when you would get an audition and everything that you would go through until the end of the audition? The problem was that it wasn't only the audition part. It was yes. also the All not the... getting any of yeah. auditions. I, I was wondering why, I, I don't know, I have an agent, but he never calls me. Um, mm. I send emails, but I never get an answer. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I go to this class, but I don't feel, I don't feel right. I, mm. I, I, I was thinking all the time that I was wrong. And yeah, I was trying to... Every time that I went to an audition, when I got it, because there were a few or a casting, I felt like I had to show that I was good. So yeah. every time that I wanted to show that I was good, I get so frustrated that mm. I finish it and, and it was like I screwed it up. Yeah. It was really bad. I was lost. And actually, I got a really huge um, tension on all this part of my face every boss. time. Yeah. Um, every time that I and you know that emotion. this the jaw is uh like when that gets stuck, it's like there's some primal part of you that feels like it needs to defend itself because it's being attacked, and that's like your animal part piece of mm. you, right? That has like some primal reaction, and it it kind of says a lot. A lot of actors have the jaw being blocked here. And of course, when you perceive that you're in a dangerous situation, whether you're in an audition on set or in a relationship with your agent, like that, that, that you're actually not safe, mm -hmm. that you have to do things the way that other people do it, that you're not feeling good enough to, to, to actually just be yourself. It's threatening 
to who you are because you can't be yeah. who you are. And so it's absolutely normal that your jaw would get tense because it feels like you need to attack and defend yourself, which is sad, right? Because that's not yeah. why you become an actress. You become an actress to feel the flow and the joy of it. Yeah, I think that that, that was a part when I was in, at the university, I mm -hmm. felt even though I, sometimes you didn't do a good job, you know, like, I don't know, the teacher would say like, you sucked yeah. and whatever, but you keep, you keep going, you know, I was, yeah. I was playing a lot and that I, mm. I started to miss it because I just wanted to work. And that was the problem. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to work. Like yeah. I, I want to do it so badly that it hurts. Mm. Mm. And that was like the, the hurtful part. It was like, I'm so lost. And I want to do it so bad that I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a very frustrating place to be in. It's painful. It is terrible because actually you don't know what to do. Uh, you try to connect with the, your agent and you get no response or the response is like blah and you yeah. need more. And it is yeah. like, dude, I, I, I thought that we agreed to have like a... a, a a human conversation type yes. of relationship but that yes. never happened and mm -hmm. most of the time too I felt like I don't want to be a pain in the ass so mm -hmm. I'm not going to call him or her um, now maybe if I if I send this email they're going to be angry about it um, mm -hmm. so I was asking too much permission too so yeah was like, but that's all that's all under the chapter <laughs> of I'm raised to please and therefore yeah. I'm also afraid to hurt or to bother or to disturb or it's like a whole, it's a whole way of living that feels horrible. Yeah. And that, and, and again, it's not your fault. You're not to blame for that. This is just how we're conditioned. Right. Yeah. Um, but, but you're definitely capable of, of, um, of not doing that, of walking out of that and actually showing up truthfully, which is what you did. So why did you decide to reset I know you gave yourself an ultimatum mm -hmm. and then did you cross paths with the reset in between that ultimatum just before yeah just before quitting um, exactly that actually I randomly I used to work uh with what with Casimiro who was taking the the reset and he was already in a he was a band for ready I think I didn't and know that yeah we used to oh. work together and I work on a theater and he went to see a play and I was like, hey, how are you? And he said, like, let's grab a beer. And I went with him and he told me about this and he told me like he felt the same way. And I said, like, mm? so mm -hmm. I watched your webinar and it was like, it was really funny because I was actually on a train and I was like, yes, that happens <laughs> to me. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my God, yes, I feel the same, the, yeah. the same way that you explain it. And I decided to take it because, mm -hmm. and actually the fun part is that um, I did everything on the reset because it was my only salvation. Because yeah. as you said, like I already put an ultimatum. So if this yeah. doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. The, it was the last thing to try. Yeah. You had tried everything else. And so how was your reset? Was it, was it challenging? Was it not challenging and just helpful? I mean, I know it's helpful, but it's people can have like a flowing experience with it or they can be really like, oh, my God, this is really hard. I think uh, um, it was kind of both in yeah. a way, but I think I was in a good way. <laughs> mm. I was like a good student. I mean, yeah. uh, for example, if I couldn't do it one day, I said like, OK, I didn't do it today. Mm -hmm. Or if I couldn't do any one of the exercises, I said like, okay, I have yeah. to repeat it next day. Because yeah. if not, I'm 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 losing foolish myself. The momentum. Yeah, I'm yeah. losing the momentum, and this this bad for me. Not I'm not yeah. cheating anyone, just me. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, there was some challenge, but it was like I have to do it. So mm. I think you were I decided. Didn't, yeah. yeah, I didn't question anything. A fun part. Right. Like, yeah, I think that that is the like I I didn't question. Yeah, once, you're, once you decide to do it, everything that's going to be presented to you into resetting yourself to who you truly are yeah. won't necessarily make sense because it's going opposite of everything you know. And so, yes, one of the agreements that we make in the beginning is to say, don't mm -hmm. question this because you, you know that if you continue on the same path, it's not working. 
So trust that we figured this out after thousands and thousands of actors. So trust, just do, and in a month, you'll see what happens. So yes, yeah. you did, ex that's, that's great not to question. I did it that way. Uh, I was discovering, well, while I was doing it, I discovered so many things about myself that it was actually mm. like, what? Some stuff mm. that they're not even related with. I mean, it is related with, with yes. performing, but it is related to myself. Yeah. Like, you know, my attachments, uh, why can't I say my opinion or something like that? Yes. Just little things that I discovered doing it. And um, that I was very embarrassed to do some of, I don't know, like I felt like challenging about this uh, exercise. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, uh, to my boyfriend, uh, you have to be on your, on your room, close the door. Yeah. But I just, I didn't, I, as you said, you like, did. I, didn't, yeah. I didn't question it because it was my last resource. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's great. That creates some commitment, right? Some yeah. like, commitment that is like, okay, I'm not going to not, I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to keep going. Great. So how do you feel now that you've done this work? How, what's, what's the difference that you're noticing? Well, I noticed actually that I'm still human. <laughs> I have bad days. I'm not going to lie. I mean, yeah. I do have bad days, but at least mm -hmm. I know, I think now I have the tools to fight with it. Fight. Mm -hmm. Like, to go with okay. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I have this. I'm not going to say I, it's not there. Uh, I'm just going to go with it. Um, the part that I love the most is that I realize that I am human and yeah. that I am, like, how to say it, I am beautiful with my personality, with my mm -hmm. issues, with everything. Because actually, exactly. I've been raised as my family has like a really strong character. Mm. So I was raised like this character is not okay. Yeah. So now I, it's like, it is like, a, it is different because actually I have the tools to go with it mm -hmm. and to enjoy it. Yeah. And I don't feel guilty about it. And to not repress person. it. You don't have exactly, to Exactly, yeah. You can I don't yourself. hide it anymore. And actually not hiding it is making me feel like free about it and and i don't have this like ah you know yeah. the pain like, is gone yeah i'm not a bomb anymore like yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah so that that it's a and i actually know myself better yeah yeah you were great. saying that uh, that you've discovered a lot of things about yourself and that maybe it's unrelated but of course in the work that we do it's totally related because mm -hmm. we believe that you don't have to act that you can just be, right? That like the company is called to be or not to act. It's really about you. It's you that people are interested in. They're not interested in your acting. You're, you're an artist, right? So they're interested in your twisted, weird, crazy, funky perception mm -hmm. of a character's story. They're not interested in you doing it well. A casting director or a director or an audience wants to see, oh, how does this human being react if that would mm -hmm. happen to them, right? They're not interested in your skills. Um, just like when a, you know, when a singer is singing, let's say Bjork, for example, you're not interested in her skills at singing. You're interested in how crazy different she is from everybody else. And, and that's what you want as an artist is to have that authenticity. Yeah. I love Bjork. <laughs> Yeah, me too. She's my <laughs> ultimate reference. Like, I don't have many references. Meryl Streep, Bjork. That's it. That says it all. I totally love uh, her. And, yeah. and most of the people tell me, like, she seems weird. And it's like, she's gorgeous. Who cares? Yeah. Like, what, like, what is weird? Is there a dictionary where, you know, yeah, yeah, people, totally. half of the world adores her and half of the world can't stand her. There's nothing that says that you, you're here to be loved by everyone. You're here to be loved by you. And you do your stuff and some people will resonate and some people won't. And that's that you can't want anything else but that. But because yeah. we've been conditioned, of course, to please everyone, to be a good person, be a good student, behave like everybody else, fit, do like your neighbors, do like your sister, do like your mm -hmm. dad. So, of course, there's part of us that thinks because of the conditioning that we should be liked by everyone. But th there is no fulfillment in that. There's no satisfaction. There is yeah. only suffering. And there's definitely no art. If you're pleasing everyone, you're not producing any art, right? Art is a, 
is an opinion. It's a personal and unique opinion that only you can have. And you cannot be loved by everyone in that case. Yeah, I totally agree. And yeah. it wasn't easy, but mm -hmm. it, it was much easier than being, than still being in that condition. You know what I mean? It's like, of course. yeah, it is challenging to confront yourself to yeah. see like, I have to do this. Okay. I'm going to do it without questioning. Woof, mm -hmm. This is not easy to do, but it, it is much easier than continue yeah. the way I was. Definitely. Like saying, yeah, yeah, um, I can do this, but I don't feel, like you said, I don't feel fulfilled. I feel like something's mm -hmm. missing. I feel terrible with myself. Um, mm -hmm. I'm scared of saying my opinion. I'm scared of saying, hello, I'm here. Yeah, um, you're scared of being you, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is like, I want to act, but I, at the same yeah. time, I want to hide. Yeah. It's so much easier to be hidden, like for all these years and don't say what I think because uh, people is going to be hurt or people is going to say like, don't say that. Yeah. So it's all these huge uh, colors of my, my own personality that I didn't enjoy it before. Yeah. Uh, I, I couldn't like flavor it because it was like, don't do it, don't say it. Yeah. And so it, it is, yeah. And it, it, and it is of course connected to my performance that, that the yes. way I act today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like to hear, to hear what, I don't know, I'm working on a character and suddenly something comes from wherever the body it is and it's mm -hmm. like, I want to do this, blah, blah, blah. And it's yeah. like, I have no idea where that came from. No. But I totally loved it. <laughs> Just like in life, you don't plan yeah. your conversations. You don't plan the situations that happen to you in life in advance. You don't know how you're going to react. You're just alive. If you're present, if you're in the moment, you do not know. And that's where you feel fulfilled as an actor because you're alive. And that's where the audience can be touched and reminded of what it's like to be human because you're alive and connected. If yeah. you're planning ahead, if you're controlling, if you're doing it the right way, well, you're not alive. You're, you're manipulating what's happening, right? Yeah. So you're, you're just trying to apply a method or a recipe to make sure that you're doing good. And again, there's no fulfillment in there. No one's going to be touched. There's no art. There's no, th nothing's been created. Everything's been manipulated. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, it's a very, the, you're, it's a challenging thing. It's not for the faint of heart to reset yourself and to go back to who you truly are. You have to be willing to do that for sure. But yeah. if you compare it to the pain of never being yourself, as an artist or in your life to not yeah. actually not actually ever be a hundred percent yourself is hell it's hell it is it's it is really, really is painful yeah it is really painful yeah definitely. yeah 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 that's definitely. that's uh, how you say it's totally connected and when mm -hmm. you start realizing that there are some pieces of you that are missing or they are like someone said like shut it down and yeah. be quiet and and that's mm -hmm. not good and suddenly you realize this is me yeah why why come back it's like where were yeah. you all this time yeah let me hug you that's yeah. a part that i that i've been learning like a lot it's like mm -hmm. i love you this part that mm -hmm. i that i thought that i hated that i supposed to hate yeah. i love that you that you would judge me yeah yeah you made me who i am and you yeah. can be beautiful too that way. Yeah. I don't know. Today it's when so I work beautiful. with the, yeah. Today when I work with the ladies, is like um, when I'm angry, like they like, say, I don't know what this. I, I hate this shit. I don't blah 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 blah. And they laugh. And it's like you're so yeah. funny when you're angry. It is like I am. Yeah. You know, I thought I was like helpful. I, I'm not helpful. Well, the thing the is other when, one, hateful. when you do the work of really truly being yourself, kind of integrating all those pieces that you've been repressing, shoving away, hiding, mm. when you're integrating and you're really becoming truly 100% your free authentic self, it all becomes beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, if that that is what we love about artists. Like, let me see, if we take B Bacon, Francis Bacon's work as a as a painter, like, let me see, uh, he, thank God, he didn't try to hide the parts that were quote unquote weird because then there would be no art in his paintings, right? We want, mm -hmm. we want you to be fucked up, right? This is Bacon. Thank God he didn't try to hide because he's one of the biggest painters and he made beauty 
out of what the rest of the world would have judged as fucked up. Everything that you feel as a human being is a life. And there's so many versions and manifestations of life. If you embrace them, it's beautiful. Yeah. And you can make art with it. You can alchemize it and make art with it. So I'm glad you did that. You definitely alchemized fear and pain into your power. So that's tremendous. Yeah. And, and actually, uh, I am very proud of myself to yeah. have decided to change the things that I didn't want anymore. And to say, like, I'm going to stop the suffering because yeah. I don't want to live like this. No. But I love my profession, but I don't want to live like this anymore. Great. And it was a huge decision um, but I actually am very proud of who I am today. And as I said, I am not happy every day, but it is like I go in it and it is like, okay, I can go on. Yeah. yeah. And I You're enjoy not, everything. The, the point is not to never be afraid or to yeah. always be happy. That's delusional. You're still having a dual human experience. You will be challenged. You will fall on your face. You will get hurt. And the difference is, how do you move through that? How do you feel that? Do you resist all of the feelings to try and keep your head out the water? Or do you actually allow yourself? Are you strong enough to actually allow yourself to feel it all? And then yeah. therefore that you can make more life out of it, more, more art. It is so hard. How, right. how, how can we live like trying to be perfect every single day? It's like today I have a bad news and it was like, are you okay? And I said, yes. And then I said, no, I'm not. No, no. I feel a little bit sad and I want to talk about it. We talk about yeah. it and it was like, okay, I want to do this. And then yeah. I, but, but I had to talk about it. And if I want to yeah. try, I want to do it because I yeah. repressing myself to just say like, no, nothing is happening here. It is totally, it, it doesn't make me yeah. and I don't want it anymore. <laughs> it's not what the world is about. The world is full of light and full of dark. That's what yeah. reality really is. I mean, you look at the entertainment content, most of it is dark. Human beings love, they get off on dark shit, on people killing each other. It's part of humanity. It's just part yeah. of who we are. And so not accepting that for yourself means you're fighting against light. It doesn't make sense. There's darkness, there's light. You're always going to have both. The difference is how do you live with it? How do you, what, how do you connect with it? And our conditioning oh. makes us disconnect with all of it. Our conditioning says we should be perfect, but we are perfect. So anyway, we could talk about this for ages, but I'm very, I'm very <laughs> glad that you're no longer suffering, that you're feeling your power and that you get to impact audiences in return and remind them to how and what it, what it means to be human, what it's like to be human truly with an open yeah. instrument. Thank you for that. And right. yeah, I love working and reminding myself that I am human and I should yeah. like feel my emotions. And yeah. that's the only way that characters are going to feel too. So yeah. The other way is lie. Totally. And totally. yeah, Great. thank you for that. <laughs> thank you very much to you, Valentina. Um, I guess if anyone has any questions, they can put this in the, in the comments when this video is going to be posted. Um, if you have questions posted in here, if you have, if you're curious, we have some free trainings in the link in the bio and in the about section. If you want to join the reset, you can get your name on the wait list and we'll let you know when we open. And voila, I think. I think this is, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to relate with your experience. Thank you for being transparent. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you for this. I think this was my first, first interview ever. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I was there. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, see you. Thank you, thank so, you much, so much, Valentina. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.